Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see. What do you think? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto egg roll in a bowl. So if you have access to the Low Carb Lavash bread, you can actually make an egg roll at home. So this is definitely a recipe that you'll want to continue to rotate throughout your week or even your month. And another thing about this is that you can meal prep with it. It makes life so much easier, and honestly, it's just so delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we'll be using Using super simple stuff. We have our ground beef. We have one of this little coleslaw packet because it just makes it all a lot easier. If you don't have access to one of these little bags, you can actually finely chop your green cabbage, carrots, and some red cabbage. But this, look at how easy. It just already comes in a in a little bag and it makes life so much easier. So I'll go over all these things as we're adding them in, but let's go ahead and get started with our ground beef. What we're gonna do is open up our meat. And of course, if you are able to buy grass-fed, grass-finished beef, then you'd want to do that because it's just so much healthier. But if not, conventional ground beef is going to work as well. So um, I will link my butcher box link down below. I actually ran out, so um, this is what I'm using today, but that is the meat that I typically use. So let's go ahead and get over to the stove and start cooking this bit, boy. Okay, so we're going to actually cook this on a medium to medium-high heat. And we're just gonna start off by breaking it up. You're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes or until it turns nice and golden brown. I'll show you what it should look like before we move on to our next step. Okay, so now that our ground beef is cooked, um, it did let out a little bit of, you know, just like juice and a little bit of oil. So what you can do at this point is just drain this. Um, you can get like a little spoon. So we're just gonna go ahead and drain this. And whatever stays on the meat is totally fine, but you just don't need all this. So that's gonna be good enough. And now let's go ahead and move on to our next step. Okay, so just remember that this meat, we're going to continue cooking it, okay? So now we're gonna add 1 fourth cup of red onion. Okay, and now we're gonna add one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Okay, and now let's go back onto the stove and finish cooking this. So we're just gonna mix this together and we will let the onions uh, get a little translucent and we'll move on. Okay, so this is a fourth cup of either coconut aminos or soy sauce. I'm personally using aminos. So this is two teaspoons of minced garlic. Okay, and we have a quarter teaspoon of oyster sauce. This is more optional, but I just love the taste. And here we have a teaspoon of chili flakes, but you can do a quarter, a half, or none if you're just anti-spice. Okay, and it's super easy. Now what we're gonna do is just throw in our coleslaw bag, just like this. I'm actually not gonna cook this all the way because I still want a little bit of crunch, but if you like it super soft, then, you know, obviously just cook it a little longer. But I personally like my um, egg roll in a bowl to have a little bit of crunch, so we're only going halfway. Okay, so if you are gonna be using this for meal prep, you might wanna leave it even a little more um, uncooked in terms of the cabbage, because when you reheat it, it will soften, okay? So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so now that we have our egg roll in a bowl plated, Nati and I are going to do the taste test. So um, in terms of salt and pepper, you're going to season that to taste, okay? Um, we're gonna add a little bit right now. Nati, you wanna add some to your side? I'm just gonna literally a small little pinch. And do you want some sriracha? Yeah, okay. Not too much, okay. Got it? Okay, <laughs> cheers. Let's see. What do you think? Mmm. This is a bomb. I seriously, every time I try it again, I ask myself, like, why haven't I been making it more often, you know? Can it be in my daily schedule? I know, I'm telling you. This is so good. Mmm. And one of the best things is that you can totally use it for meal prep. So if you have kiddos, you can actually put them in separate containers. Then when they get home, boom, microwave it, set. Okay guys, so there's our egg roll in a bowl. Nati, what did you think? 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10. No, honestly, it's absolutely delicious. It's it's one just one of those recipes that you just have to try. Keto or not, this is something that your family will love. Mm -hmm. And of course, like I said, you can always get creative and make some egg rolls out of it. But this is an egg roll in a bowl. So I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. You have to try it, make it, come back, comment down below and let us know what you thought of it because honestly i already know it's a staple here and we mm -hmm. love it so thank you so much for joining us we love you and we'll see you on our next video mm -hmm. Mwah.